Hey, welcome to this episode of the Pro Membership Sweepstakes, Hunting Fish Like the Pros. Got a little bit unique situation here. The winner of this trip is Mark Knight, and he won an elk hunt. And I know this doesn't look like elk country, and actually we're in Texas. But this hunt, Mark had won an elk hunt in northern Utah, and he said one of his passions was to always go to Africa. It's not something I always do because going to Africa, we know people, but I don't know them like I have the the knowledge of people here in the United States and all the outfitters. Mark said he had done all the research and John X Safaris was somebody he wanted to go hunt with. And I said, if you're willing to take the risk, we're willing to do it. And after seeing this show, you're gonna enjoy this. This place is phenomenal. Enjoy the show. Alan, welcome. We're finally on the trail, quite literally. Um, it's been a number of years in the making. We've dreamt about this. We've emailed each other back and forth. We've called, um, and, and we're finally out here. First afternoon, been to the range. Guns have shot beautifully, and you did really good on the range. Yeah, we're, we're ready for anything. Uh, anticipating a lot of unknowns and a lot of new experiences and uh, feel very safe, very well taken care of and we trust you. Exciting. We're going to follow your lead. Fantastic. We're in for a good week. Yeah. We can, we're going to continue down the trail here and get ourselves into the right areas looking for Anyala and Kuru. This is their habitat and we'll see what the afternoon holds and, and what tomorrow brings and the days to come. Hey, see it, guys. Imagine that hive up there. It's the wild honey, eh? Honey in there? Honey, y'all. Oh, the most beautiful honey. You can, so, so what they do, they, the bees make their hives in these overhangs so the baboons can't get to them. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's actually stuck. It's There's not a hole. No, it's actually just stuck up there, oh. you know, on a ledge. Underneath, it's obviously, there's a bit of a crack there and they use that kind of as a grip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they've learned to adapt to the... Yeah. The species around them. Yeah, otherwise the baboons rob them and yeah. they never get to build a hive, basically. Well, it's the end of day one. Um, really good to have Mark and Alan finally arrive in camp. We've had a good walk this afternoon. We're going to turn in for the evening. And tomorrow morning we're going to get up first light. We're going to head up into the hills for a unbelievable day of kudu hunting. So for now we're turning in for the evening. We'll see you in the morning.
finally spotted a really good bull after searching all morning. The bull's up on the ridge above us. We've spotted him at about a thousand yards and we now are trying to close the distance and use the bit of cover we got to get a shot. Um, not going to be easy, a lot of eyes and ears around but we'll give it our best shot here. The bull's still feeding with the cows on the ridge. So Mark, I want us to just keep going. Find ourselves a nice shooting platform here that we can lay down prone, get ourselves set up. If you look at this tree in front of you, this big tree, just come to the left edge on that rocky bank, you'll see him laying down. Okay, there he stands. So he's facing right, yeah. you want shoulder? You on, want on the shoulder, shoulder, you can take him. Squeeze it off. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. He's going to go down. Perfect. Perfect. He's way to the right behind the tree. But you did good, Botner. Okay. Very good. Okay. He's about to go down. Well, Mark's put a good shot on this bull. He's hit him very well and he came down the ridge. And um, stood for a little while in a place where we couldn't get a shot on him. He was behind some cover. And now he's come down even further, but he looks like he should be expired. We are going to walk up with Flash and just make sure that if he does get up, we can, you know, get the dog onto him to bay him. But I'm pretty sure he is down. He looks to be a beauty. And Mark? Yes. See him fight now. Congratulations. Congratulations, my man. A absolutely beautiful, beautiful yeah. bull, eh? I tell you, first day out, find this bull finally after looking over a lot of bulls. And we'd spoken a bit earlier, and you said, I like the white tips. And yes. man, this bull's got nice, worn down old white tips. He's nice and heavy, yeah. big old body on him. And you know, what a, what a hunt this morning. It's so neat. Finally, I'm um, getting out here. Absolutely perfect conditions today. It was. You made a long shot. He came down, and uh, glad you could get glad you could make that shot because yeah. if you went out, I think the work would have been a whole lot, a lot more, more than, work than when, what we've got right here. Yeah. But congratulations, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank very, you for very the nice. And yeah, very and nice bull. And great judgment. Let me know what I needed to. Yeah. Which animal was the right choice? So yeah. thank you. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. this morning and we've spotted these impala we'll take a chance here and see if we can get onto a ram let's go and have a look and see what we can find so if you look just over the top of the trees in front of you yeah. there the group of impala is you see them just this side of that grey bank okay. there is a ram there but he's still growing so we're gonna pass on him and we'll keep looking for a better ram okay We've been trying to find an Impala bull for a long time this morning, but we never got on one, so um, Mr. Clayton just 
found us and then y'all the balls are working. Okay, good shot. Good shot. Good shot, bud. Good shot. He's gonna go down. Just wait. He's just about done. Congratulations, young man. You. Hey, you earned this one. Yesterday, you sat for four hours with me. Cold conditions, then warm, cold. We waited, we were bored, we were excited, we didn't know anymore. And finally, this morning, I told you, you actually finished off last night and you said we'll get him tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, mate. Very, very well done. Very nice. Awesome. Isn't that one of the most beautiful animals you've laid your eyes on, my man? Woo. This is... This is something special, my friend. This. Come in there. Come in there. This is something unique. Hey? Yeah. Wow. A bit of blood. Yeah. That is awesome. That is just magnificent. Is this my uh, entry hook? Looks like it. Ah, I think this is just him fighting. Oh. It's him fighting. This is a beautiful animal. Yeah, they're special. They're really special. The colors, I always say the red socks and uh, you know, this white chevron, they, they're just such proud animals. Just magnificent in every way. Really, really spectacular. Spectacular. And been playing cat and mouse and to finally come away with it has been the... It, it's been reward for, yeah. for good effort, mate. Yeah. Very good. And we, our spiral quest continues. We did really good with the kudu with your dad and you were there in Yala. So congratulations, young man. Welcome so to African hunting, your uh, first yes. animal. Yes. And um, may our luck continue. For sure. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Got a beautiful Nyala this morning and while loading up and heading out, we spotted a good looking impala we're gonna have a look for now. And we haven't seen him again, but we're gonna make our way into the wind, into the general area we left him and see if we can get onto him. Good shot, perfect shot. Absolutely perfect. Let's watch him come right here. Stand, oh, there, stand okay. still. Stand still. <laughs> Very Thank nice. You, sir. Thank you. Good, quick reactions there. He was going to go in. He turned in you, position. I just, it was going to wait. You were comfortable. I'm very happy with that. You were good. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yes, I love the way he came. I didn't know where we were. Didn't know where we were. That was beautiful. That was awesome. Oh, You've got the black face one. Yeah. What I want. Yeah. He is a nice, nice ram. Yes, it's a nice ram. Guys, look at this face. I'm telling you, this is unique. Uh, this is as close as you're going to get to that black face, eh? I mean, like I said, it's just something very Beautiful different. Coloring. Beautiful. Also, fighter, eh? Fighter. Man, but that under the eyebrows and, yo, he's got that secondary growth. He's old, cracked up. Yes. Very good. Is he a fighter? He's a fighter. I mean, he's just fighter. an old ram. He's on Beautiful. his own, yeah. Beautiful. 
I think that's, yes. that's old enough. <laughs> that is old enough. His teeth are worn down. The, oh my goodness. There are no teeth left. It's basically... Well, that was a great move. Yeah, basically just a few kernels here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at him. Yeah. Perfect so, animal to excellent, take. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so we started off the day very cold and foggy, and we got a Inyala down. I shot off the sticks here this morning, very excited. And uh, as we left, we actually came across a Impala that we later came back and did a track on. And once we did the stock, we were able to get it down. Another, uh, another exciting, beautiful animal. And um, after a fantastic lunch, we came out here and got to sit here and just scope out a little valley and saw so many animals of different species, including a number of the one that we were looking for, which was Cape Bushbuck. So very rewarding day, beautiful evening. It's nice and calm and beautiful. And we're here with friends and uh, couldn't be better. Well, here we are on our next leg of our father-son adventure. We've come a few hours north from Woodlands to the Karoo. And it feels honestly very similar to some areas in Southern Idaho where we come from. So it's almost like being at home in a different part of the world. And we've got some other species that we're going after up here, including springbuck and gimsbuck. And um, we're ready for anything, this is exciting. Alan, we've uh, come up onto these high ridges, and if you look in there, bud, um, we're on the hunt for Genswak, and that there is precisely the kind of animal we're looking for. We're looking for a lone bull. Um, he looks like an old bull. He's worn down a lot. He looks pretty heavy, and when you see, if you look from this distance, and you can see that mass in the shoulders, yeah. um, that's what you're looking for. He's looking heavy. He's well set animal, and he's quite confident. He's a uh, He's very confident the way he's, he's moving around. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna come around. Probably take us a good hour to get around, but at least the wind will be right and we'll be able to make a plan with him. Our biggest issue is we've got ostriches out here that uh, will give us a way we can bank on that. So it's not even, a, we're not even gonna pass, go there. We'll rather come from the other side and see what we can achieve, but. So let's head back and head down and come up the other side. And so as we start cresting, uh, this, this gemsbuck has gone up. He was feeding on this plateau. Now the way the wind's blowing, I think he'll be cutting slightly into the wind. And he came up a little bit off to our right. Okay. Some way we should cross his path and we can just stay on the bottom side of the wind.
outside. As we wait for him for a perfect broadside shot, he doesn't know we are yet. If you hit him there, you got hit him just behind the shoulder when he stops now. where we wanted it, just beyond the shoulder, but you hit him hard. On the angle, you hit him very, very hard. But he's not going anywhere. Come here. You wanted a heavy set bull on the side of the mountain, and you got a heavy set bull on the side of the mountain, bud. Hey, isn't that awesome? That is. I love the bandit face. Absolutely, and this heavy set and old face. He's got this unbelievable secondary growth. I mean, he's worn right down. I mean, just the most. It's the perfect game spot to take. You know, you can shoot them much longer than this, but I tell you what, you wouldn't shoot one much older than this. So, right, right. absolutely wonderful animal to take out the herd, yeah, and. Um, you said to me, I want all bull, and mm -hmm. this is all bull, bud. Awesome. Congratulations, so bud. Very so nice. Much. Beautiful. Well, Alan, it's a beautiful crisp morning in the Karoo. There's still frost on the ground and we're doing one of my favorite things today. We're hunting springbuck. It's some of our best eating. It's our national animal. And uh, this time of year, we traditionally make biltong. Oh. So apart from um, finding you a nice ram, we're gonna utilize the springbuck's carcass to make some biltong. So hopefully we'll have a good morning. I'll put you onto a good ram, you'll make a good shot, and everybody at camp's gonna be really happy. Some good protein. There's one eating on the island. Okay, then behind that one, 
there's one feeding away from you to the left behind. And then you see another one behind that to the left feeding broadside. Head down looks like it's drinking. I want you to squeeze off dead center of the body. Dead center of the body, okay? When you're ready, you can take it. I'm, I'm holding for the wind, dead center of the body. Beat him, good shot. Good shot. Good shot, what a shot. He's done, you hit him absolutely perfect. No, the no shot way. of the safari. No way. The shot of the safari. You can do it, son. You can do it, bud. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all the spring back around us. There's just spring back everywhere. Obviously the rains were good in the summer and now there's still some water here and they're coming to eat on all the green stuff here. I'm telling you that. Isn't that awesome, guys? Hey, he's lying posed up already. Yo, come have a look, Alan. This is exactly that buck from earlier. Exactly, exactly. I'm telling you that because this is a certain shape and the stem and door like it. It is just awesome, man. Yeah. This is just an awesome spring buck, man. And what makes this so unique and such good fun this morning, while we had an early miss, we redeemed ourselves and we got ourselves a great spring buck. We had a double stalk and um, a whole lot of spring buck to choose from. But when I saw this guy running in, I said to myself, he looks very similar to the one this morning. And lo and behold, there he was with the three partners in crime he was with this morning. And uh, it just worked out well. He came in, there was a lot of other spring buck to choose from as well. And I thought, we'll get him back. So. Awesome springbuck, our national animal. Um, beautiful, beautiful springbuck, and I do reckon it's your shot to the safari. So, well done, young man. Very nice. Thank you. Perfect, I'm heading that direction, then you talk to me again. So Mark, yes. like you said, when you least expect it, yeah. the call comes. And uh, this morning, bright and early, we're on our way hunting bushbuck for Alan and Clayton gets on the radio for us. So the real challenge now is for us to make um, our way over there as fast as possible yes. so the cat does not jump. Uh, he's treed right now. Um, and we just need to get within that vicinity as quick as we can and then make our way towards the cat as quiet as we can. But for the next little while, you're gonna be on in for a wild ride. Okay. Okay, shoot it above you, shoot it. Okay, watch out. If you're done, shoot again, we're good. You nearly had the cat in your lap. It's all right. <laughs> we got one. Excellent. <laughs> We could clear that gun, eh? I'll bring the cat out here to you, Mark. It's so much chaos in here. That. Yeah. Uh, come through here, Mark. You can come through here, partner. Yeah, come to me. I'm gonna. It's a little bit tough, but it'll also be nice in here. Give this to me. Okay, Mark. Obviously, not as big as your mountain lion. Our, our, our lynx is maybe very similar to your bobcat in size and um, quite, you know, not as fluffy. We don't have the, the cold conditions or most certainly the bobcats I've seen in the US, but this is a nice cat. Yeah, He's, absolutely. There's still yeah. quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. The fur, it's got yeah. white tips. Yes. And uh, the beautiful tips on the ears. Yes. What a unique animal. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is something you wanted to do. So I'm so happy when that yes. radio call came this morning. I was. I just saw your Incredible face light up. Incredible treat. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. There was no question once yeah. I heard. Absolutely no yeah. question. And and uniquely, that opportunity where that cat sat was actually changed from where we first saw it. I don't know if you oh. realize when I first looked from across the valley, it was higher up this way. And when I came around, I got a big fright. The cat looked at me. I was move. like, "You got to come in here." So all started well, ends well. Yes. A surprising morning. Nice links. Dogs yeah. did their job, uh, and we can. We can take this one off as a 
experience you Check wanted to do yep. that we we were hoping would come through we weren't sure if it would what a treat yeah, yes fantastic something like this is it has to be opportunistic exactly to fall into place exactly yes exactly. wonderful wonderful man Good boy, good job. Good job. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Good job. One of these guys did the job for us. Yeah. Good working dogs are very valuable. Today we're down from Woodlands. We've driven southeast to Buffalo Kloof, where we're on a wild game drive and hope to see a number of species that we've not been able to see yet, including rhinoceros, elephant, hippopotamus. Hope to get some great photos. And today the animals are safe. There are no guns aboard. So um, we're excited to get some great pictures. And so today we're also here with Bobby and Allison and my son Alan. So, great addition to our adventure. Looking at an elephant bull right up here. We have one more down here to the left. We're really close to the one on the left. Do it Give your head up. Never been this close to a wild cat. This is incredible. Buffalo Kloof, thanks for having us.
Well, we've had multiple days and multiple locations. We've tried bushbuck up in the hills. We've seen some. Um, we've tried them down lower. We've seen a lot. We've only really seen three good shooter ants, but I think it's been a bit breezy from time to time, which has affected our chances of success on a big ram. Mm -hmm. And from this location across the valley, we actually spotted a nice ram. I mean, this ram has gone down and into the valley for the midday heat. And um, you had said to me earlier that, you know, if the opportunity presents, you might want to go for a holiday. So it is our last afternoon, and uh, it's something that I know you've been wanting to do. Yeah. Yeah, ever since day one, I, ever since I saw a heart of beast, I was like, oh, I want to shoot a heart of beast, but we had the bush buck on our list. It's like, you know what, if we can go after it, if we could try for it, then let's do it. But it just seems like he's given us a slip, so I want to do a heart of beast if that's possible. hundred percent. For our last afternoon, we'll give it hell. We'll try for a heart of beast um, up on the plains again, obviously. And But a good effort. We'll fight the bush buck another day, yes, another sir. safari. And of course. Good to, good to try. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Yes, this sure. time, the bushbucks got us. For sure. <laughs> Brilliant shot. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant shot. Yeah, congratulations. Absolutely perfect. He's never ever gonna go anywhere. Well, he was a nice bull from far, but even better from up close, but nice bull. Yo, let's take a look at him here. Beautiful, beautiful beast, young man. And a fantastic shot. Um, I think pretty iconic that we end our safari on a hardeby. So many folks travel to Africa and they actually um, rela they relate to this color of this hardeby. So it's like the soil of Africa and it's a good memory of that and a fitting way for us to end our safari. And it's, it's been an absolute wonderful week with you, Mark. It's thank been you, fantastic. Yeah, I'd like to thank you, John X Safaris, uh, Pro Membership Sweepstakes for providing this opportunity for us. Um, You've introduced us to different areas of South Africa, different uh, terrains and different regions, so many different animals. You've educated us and helped us to see um, their uniqueness and uh, you've shared with us your passion about, um, about uh, ecology and conservation and, and uh, wildlife management and making South Africa a better place for hunters to come. So thank you for helping. Thank you very much, sir. And Alan, I've so enjoyed your, your hunting with you this week and your shooting in particular. It's really been fantastic from difficult setups to um, some close shots and some long shots. And my personal favorite being that springbuck. I, I, I know you at the time wondered why that was my favorite, but just the scenario, the difficulty of that and getting up there and making a shot under tough conditions. It was certainly hard for me this week, but this harder beast, no different. A textbook perfect shot, then. Just absolutely perfect, mate. Thank you, thank you, and I want to thank Dad for allowing me to come with him and share the memories, and you know, it's just amazing to be able to come out here and experience this. I know I'm very blessed, and I thank, thank Dad, and I thank you. It's been a pleasure, gentlemen. Yes, thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you, thank sir. You. And may we do it again someday. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Very soon. Awesome safari, guys. Well, I think we can all agree that was a great experience. Makes me wish that I was there. But these guys have a great camera crew, video crew there. They shot the whole show, and I didn't even get to be there, be over the shoulder. But I'm going to tell you what. 2023, January, we're going to give away not only this one, 
but a bigger safari. Nine premium animals, sable, kudu, you name it. This is everything you really want, over $20,000. One of you is going to take a guest with you to John X Safaris. Make sure you're a member. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.